With cymbals and tambourines they noisily come, clashing and rattling, chanting, singing, shouting. Tinkling triangles and anklets with silver bells merrily processing down the street, priests and professional men in colourful array, a Christian army. Through the thoroughfares of Antioch, people lining both sides of the way, cheering and waving. At their head, a handsome youth in white, dark-eyed, dark-skinned, carrying the raised and radiant cross, his sparkling eyes uplifted to the skies, he bears the cross of brass, our strength, our hope, shining in the bright Antiochene sun, life and light of all the living world. The pagans, those despicable unbelievers, lately so arrogant, with Julian at their head, Julian's dead, and they in disarray, quickly scurry away with covered faces from sight of our brazen, victorious cross. Let them stay away. Good riddance, we say, until they change their ways, at last repent. Our holy cross, more cleansing than the sun, moves among the pious, praying Christians, bringing holy comfort, holy joy. We fill the streets, streaming from our houses, kneeling, singing, worshipping the cross and our great Saviour Christ, triumphant Lord. It's a yearly Christian festival, you know, but this time with more pomp and pageantry, a little louder, a little longer, now that Julian is dead at last. Pious Christian Jovian wears the purple, Long may our own emperor reign.